Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Thrawn's Revenge here with another mock video. Uh, this time it's old models. So I posted on Instagram uh, like almost a week ago one of my older models and uh, it got a lot of love which was really cool. So I thought that I'd show some of my other older models. Uh, these models are not as old as that the that model that I showed. Uh, I'll show you here. It's my ATMA. So there it is. Uh, sorry I haven't had a video in a week and haven't been posting on Instagram a lot. Uh, I ended up getting swarmed with work stuff and then my computer died, which caused some issues. Um, and then some commissions that I'm doing for one stud. So hopefully when I get those done, I'll get back to like a little bit of a more normal schedule. And then I hope that uh, this two for one video will make up for the fact that I've been gone. Um, so let's get right into it. So basically these models were made... Um, through a concept that me and my friends had. We, you know, when you're younger, you tend to build your own universes and stuff. So our universe was basically the Star Wars universe, but it diverged in a different direction as Legends did and as Canon did. So we kind of had our own thing, right? And so this was like my galactic defense force, basically. Like Earth somehow got teleported into the Star Wars universe and there was a defense force for them. So this was the defense force. This was their two main starfighters. Um, so this is a interceptor that i called i think the viper or something and this was a anti um capital ship starfighter so i'll do the interceptor first since it's the more complete model so this guy was based off of a vehicle that i had done previously in like high school or something like that um, it's a redesign of that model the old model was black and dark blue and was a lot smaller. This time I went dark bluish gray and dark blue because I love the the dark blue and black slash dark bluish gray color combo. I think it's a really unique color combo and I really enjoy the like contrast between the two. Um, so this model, as you can see, it's got the front nose, which has a hole in it that is very similar to the original version. Um, I don't have any images of the original version because I ended up losing that whole starfighter, which kind of sucks. But, you know, that happens. <clears throat> and then on the bottom, it has working landing gear, and that landing gear is able to close in. So I'll show you that. So like so. And then I made really unusual engines for this, because I thought the, like, I wanted a different style of engine for this Starfighter. So there's a lot of, like, greebling on the underside, these tubes, this texturing on the inside. So I thought it gave it a really unique look from the back. Um, these fins were a really fun design. It gives it that weird kind of spiky look. Um, there's an inside cockpit, which I'll show you that. So, lots of red, um, two control sticks. I think this is dark red. And then there's the um, gauges for the speed, and then a heads-up display on top. So this model, I think I made, I want to say, like, really early college, like my first year in college, um, before I took a break from LEGO, because I was, you know, very busy with school stuff. Uh, this model, I thought, was... You know, looking back at it now, it's there's definitely some parts that I would improve. Um, this area is too studded. These sections are not well enough connected together. Um, I'd probably fix some of the spacing on here and stuff like that. Um, probably fill this in now or maybe make this more defined because it feels a little, you know, very bare bones on this section. <clears throat> the engines I still like. I still really love how the engines turned out, so I think I'd probably keep that the same. So this is the Interceptor. Um, let me know what you guys think of this one. And then moving on to the other one. So this is the anti-capital ship model. I wanted to go, when I originally built this, as a very asymmetrical design. You can see that I used the um, dropship parts from the, uh, I think it was 20th or 25th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars. There, the new dropships had these kind of fins, right? And so these fins I really wanted to use because I had a bunch of them. And I originally started with this kind of engine design right here. Um, and I wanted to find something to do with all these parts that I had, right? And so this model was kind of the culmination of all those parts. Um, so I wanted the as asymmetrical design. I wanted it to be really small and really nimble. But again, I'll, I'll, both of these ships are not supposed to have hyperdrives. Um, because they're supposed to be, like, exchange the hyperdrive for more maneuverability and thrusters and stuff. Which, yeah, I know that isn't exactly true in Star Wars, but that's how it worked in our universe, right? So, this ship only had one gun, which was this one, which was an anti-capital ship um, cannon. 
basically had this like weird clip design that you could exchange out for like a couple of rounds. So I'd have like a couple of rounds in here and then I'd fire this into the capital ships. This ship I actually never finished. Um, as you can see the inside, so I can take it off the stand. So I, I built the stand as like an afterthought, which is why it's like super bare bones. So you can see that the inside of the cockpit, there's like nothing there. Uh, a, a minifig can barely even fit inside this thing. So that's kind of how that <laughs> turned out. It's flimsy, as you can tell. It's very flimsy. Um, so yeah, I really like the gun design of this. The bulb for the pilot is really minimalistic. But again, if I was to redo this... My bad, I just dropped it. So if I was to redo this, I think I'd reinforce this. I'd probably make this all bigger because if it's really small for what it's supposed to be, this definitely should be much bigger for what it's supposed to be. Um, this connection was my attempt at like kind of making a greebled section that you see for like some starships, you know, kind of like that B-Wing design. Uh, I couldn't get the B-Wing function to work when I was building it because I it was such small scale that I kind of gave up. But I made this when I was younger, so I know better now. Maybe I'll make a redesign at some point. I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this model. Uh, it was it was fun. I remember building both of these, and it was a lot of fun to try to, you know, toy around with these concepts and build ships that don't, don't exist and stuff. I always like, you know, making weird vehicles so yeah so these are these two models um let me know what you think of looking back at some of my older models i have other older models around that i can show or like take pictures of if you're interested and then hopefully we'll get back on our usual schedule everything's better now the commissions i should be fish finishing within the next couple of days and then i'll be working on another commission for a uh person that i cannot tell you about but i can tell you what it is it is the alpha xg1 from the X-Wing games. It is the, I think it's the missile boat. It's either the missile boat or the gunboat um, that is used by the Empire. So yeah, that's all I have for this video. Sorry, it's a little short-ish. I hope to make some more long videos soon. Um, I plan to also be buying the UCS AT-AT. Shouts out to that model. God, it looks so good. Cannot wait for that to come out. It comes out um, Black, Black Friday, I think it is, Black Friday. I do plan to build that on my stream as soon as I get it shipped to my house, if I do manage to get one. So I'll keep you updated on Instagram about when that's going to happen, and I should have a new camera set up for that as well, because my current webcam setup is not good enough. That will not fit that model. That model is very large. So yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.